into music to doing this. Anyway, showing you how to install this. This is not hard at all, even manual. The most important thing is to get Red Vortex, but we're going to get all of them because we need all of them, so. I think the Red for EXT is what everybody's messing up on. So download. I don't even care. I'm just downloading. Because we need them all anyway. Slow download. Yep. Download. Yep. Notice how almost all of these say the Red Fuller EXT is a requirement. That's probably where most people are messing up, is they don't get this and put this in first. Because without that, none of these other ones work, and then it don't work. Now, I do already have the mod installed, so it is already working for me. Let's just go to our folder. Alright, here's all of them that we need. Now we're going to go to our games folder, and since I'm lazy, I'm just going to right click on the EXE and go to open file location. And yes, I own it legitimately through game, good old games. But for everybody else, Program Files x68, GOG, games, Cyberpunk, blah. Okay, we're going to need the root folder. That would be the root folder right here. And the first thing we're going to put in is red for ext uh... we're just gonna drag and drop and i'm telling it to overwrite and then see where it says bin here we gotta go into bin and then it's gonna go into plugins oh no that's right this one doesn't we need this dll to go in the bin folder alrighty now we go back to the root folder always go back to the root folder to do all of these. Where's my downloads? Uh, downloads. Alright, so we got Red for EXT in. Now I'm just going to do Red Script. And we're going to go R6, just drag it over. Replace. Engine, just drag over. And replace. And then we're done with Red Script. Now we're going to go ahead and do codeware, red for ext. So we go in here, we go to red for ext, and plugins. Just drag and drop it over, and you're good to go. Close that one. Go back to the root folder. Always go back to the root folder. And let's see, we need the mod settings, red for ext, and plugins yet again. Just drag it over and go back to the root folder. And we need to, uh, let's do tweak XL. R6, just drag over. Oops, did it, no, it didn't put it in there, okay. And the red for EXT, just copy over. And then close that. And did we do archive XL? Let's do archive XL. Uh, they're both the same. Anyway, just drag over and overwrite if you have to. If you don't have to, don't worry about it. There. We should have done all of them. Now we need the mod itself. Red for EXT. And so we just drag and drop. Get red for ext first, then red script, then codeware, and then add archive and tweak and uh, mod settings. Then you put new game plus in. And then we go back to the root folder, bin 64, and there's your exe. It's going to take forever because my PC is not very good. Let's literally just drag and drop everything though.
You don't even have to think about it. Here, I'm going to start speeding up the video, because it's going to take a million years for the black screen to go away. Just ignore the dark future, it's another mod. <laughs> 